stemming the, from the rising cost of health care while also maintaining services, this has become a major challenge for U.S. and many other countries. Mark New explains how one health care provider is turning to high and low tech ideas to improve service. So what if we tried the other thing that I heard? An emergency requiring this medical team to head straight to the operating room. But upon close examination, it's clear they're not dealing with an ordinary patient. The team is using programmable dummies that provide feedback as part of a simulation at Kaiser Permanente's 37,000 square foot test facility known as the Garfield Innovation Center. This is a very cutting edge facility. It's actually one of the world's largest simulated care delivery environment. So our goal is to use this as an innovation nexus to have all those ideas in perspective collide. These multilingual smart beds even have sensors to alert nurses if a patient is too close to the edge of the bed and at risk of falling. Vice President of Innovation and Advanced Technology Face a High says through an innovation fund, doctors, nurses and any staff can submit proposals to have their ideas tested here. That's resulted in a number of breakthroughs like Dr. Hero, a video game like training software for treating hemorrhaging emergencies when a woman is giving birth. You would not believe the enthusiasm that our clinicians play with it, the competitiveness for points, um, doing the right protocol. We actually had avatars in there with simulation. The, you could see the white color of the patient as, um, as their vital signs are clicking down. At the Garfield Innovation Center, robots are around every corner, like this one, a companion robot for interacting with patients, telepresence robots, which allow doctors from different hospitals to collaborate, and then there's this one, a courier robot. It's able to push 500 pounds of supplies. But sometimes low-tech ideas are just as useful. It was here that nurses first experimented with wearing sashes to indicate they are administering medicine and should not be disturbed. Two medical centers in nearby Hayward, California implemented the idea and saw medication errors drop by 58 and 72 percent. This is a place where some of the value is early on, quickly eliminating things that don't work so that our teams can get to things that do work. Teams here compare their culture to that of a startup accelerator where ideas can flow freely and at least have a chance to someday make an impact on lives. Crossing hallway. Park New CCTV, San Leandro, California.